reset for me. There's been a lot of like deja vu moments of little things that's happened that just kind of feels um, reminiscent of my rookie year in a sense. Just the, the feeling of the excitement that I have to play football and just a new opportunity, a new life. Um, so I don't know what to expect, but I'm excited. Yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? I'm back with another banger with y'all, man. If you're new to the channel, go that like button, subscribe, and go comment. So this is my Ravens, uh, Texas versus Ravens week one final prediction. And oh, man, oh, man. Now, once again, like I said before, I got the Ravens winning this all the way. I got the offense going all out. I got the defense holding it down. So y'all know how I get with this, man. I start the offense, you're going in with the defense. Now the offense. Now, finally, finally, finally. We see Lamar injury. He's 100%. He's ready to go. And I got one thing for Lamar. Because we out in that field throughout this whole season. Stop running the ball so damn much. You got J.K. Dobbins. You got freaking Gus Edwards. You got a whole guy, a whole running squad behind you, man. I don't want to see you put so much on the line like it's a championship game. Like, we got to, you know, we got to just, you know, bounce back from last year. I, I definitely see a lot of uh, improvement with the offense. It's going to be more fast-paced. Shout out to Todd Monken, the offensive coordinator. So, he's definitely going to bring a different approach. He's he definitely going to be better than Greg Roman because that shit was not working from years and years and years of him being with us. But uh, I definitely got hopes and um, definitely Lamar. Stay protected out there. Now, the score, I can see the score being from... Uh, I can see us beating the Texans 24 to 3, 24 to 10. Depending on how this team is, because I ain't gonna lie, they came back and beat the Kansas City Chiefs when they last week. So don't sleep on these teams. Y'all gotta keep y'all keep y'all feeling their neck. Cause I know last year we had a tendency of having getting these uh these high scoring games, you know, like a, a nice, you know, 20 a blowout, and that's you know these teams that come back. So the Ravens offense gotta hold up. And happy birthday to Mark Andrew, happy birthday to um Marcus Williams as well, the secondary. He's our free safety. So shout out to those guys, some of the guys with their day. And uh, one thing, and, um, and the tight ends, Mark Andrews, I, I got a feeling he's going to have a nice productive Sunday. All the rest of the tight ends, everybody filling in, pitching in with where they are. So we're going to see how that's going to play out. So I got so much high, hope, high hopes for this Ravens offense. Now the wide receivers. Now you already know what our Beckham J going to do this thing. I, I love what he said at the beginning of the uh, video. I love his, uh, his maturity and everything. One thing about Odell Beckham, he grew up a lot, man. That man came a long way, and I'm happy for him. Ravens done a good job of bringing him on and letting him be the leader of the offense. So... Love to see bigger and better things from this offense. And um, and the running backs and the offensive line, hold it down for the Ravens. We need, we need that time possession, man. That time possession means a lot. You know, like, just try to run the ball more. And the offensive line, what a great um, uh, job uh, the team has done as far as keeping that, that squad together. We need Lamar protected at all given times. Now, the defense. Now, I got one thing to say about the defense. The defense, the defense. Now, you see this right here? Rock y'all sitting in practice. We need to see this all season long. Get better at that man the man cover. It was like, I'm tired of Key Sands getting brought up in that man the man cover. So Texas ain't really got nobody for us to really worry about. But come on, they got some young, heavy, hot handed receivers. So y'all get out there. Y'all be a shut down, locked down defensive team. Put these teams under 10 points. You know, just kind of hold hold them down, man. Stop trying to let these teams come back. Now, this is not last year, this is a new year. So I got bigger and better high expectations for the defense. And for the um, front seven. The front seven, y'all get to that quarterback. Y'all get to the quarterback. Y'all knock their ass to the ground. Put these running backs in the negative yards. Put the wide receivers. Man, I want to see a different Baltimore Ravens defense. I mean, I'm not saying it was really not going to be a big difference, but we got Roquan Smith fully with a year with us. So I can see this defense being a lot more physical. You know, I don't want to see no offensive penalty, no defensive penalties or anything. So... I can definitely see a lot of good adjustments from this, especially from the edge rush. We need to – now we got Javion Clowney, and we have uh, Adolphe Olway kind of rotating in that spot. So, we, I think we're pretty good on the, uh, you know, defense. We got to just make sure uh, we ha healthy. If this team is healthy, the Ravens – mark my words, the Ravens will be a dangerous team. Now, anyway, if you're new to the channel, go hit that like button, subscribe, go comment. This is my uh, final predictions for the Ravens uh, this upcoming Sunday. Y'all stay tuned. Happy Purple Friday, y'all. Y'all stay blessed. Have a good weekend because the NFL is back. I just can't wait to see my Ravens. Mm, mm, mm. Peace.